All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all are doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow path. And you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. And the Messiah intercedes for you. So let's always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative, and take it one day at a time, y'all. Amen. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for another year. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. High, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, closing our back and the roof over our head. And let us just thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, getting us through the morning, getting us through the evening, getting us through the night. His grace, mercy, favor, love, his protection, his love, his only begotten son died for our sins, his word, his outstretched arm, the mighty hand of God, the fear of God. Just countless of things the Lord has got us through and continues to keep doing for us forevermore. Amen. Because his mercy endures forever. So he is always protecting his people, looking out for us, y'all. So always give him all the praise, honor, glory, every minute, every second, every hour, every day. Pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. Always keep on your armor of God in the spiritual warfare, all right? Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always encourage each other in the Lord and uplift each other in Christ. Brothers and sisters of faith, much love to all of you. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four coins of the earth, all ends of the earth, the 144. Much love to the church. Much love to the martyrs and soon-to-be martyrs, the bold, courageous people out there for the gospel, for the faith. And much love to all the engrafted great tribulation saints, the great tribulation Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, kindreds, faces, races, all of you converts. Much love to all of you all over the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us always have that unity, that peace, that love, that harmony, and that just, you know, that togetherness. You know, the Lord loves when people are together. His people are together. So let there be no division and no strife and nothing like that. Let us always be love, peace, and harmony. Comfort one another, support one another, intercede for one another, pray for each other, okay? Most definitely, y'all. Welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth, all kindreds. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Lord, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him, y'all. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, all the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Hallelujah. Most definitely, y'all. Always cry out to him. Sing a new song. You know, make a joyful noise, people. Rejoice. Always rejoice. Count it all joy. Cry out to him. Worship in spirit and truth and and serve him with gladness and joy forevermore, people. Most definitely. Let us love the Lord our God for our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. And he has come back for a people who are spotless, blameless, ready to go. Let us be washed up by the water through the word, by the word. And let us keep our lamps. Let us keep our oils. All right. Stay alert, ready, and sober, vigilant, diligent. And stay on point in these last days. Stay on point in these times that we're in, all right? A lot of prophecy being fulfilled, so make sure we are doing our part, doing our role, doing that gospel, spreading the word, being doers of the word, helping people, doing a great commission, doing Father's business, all of that, all right? So let's always keep going at it day by day, people, most definitely. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us through dreams, visions, encounters, communication, signs, wonders, miracles, any any aspect of it. Let the Lord keep Reveal himself more and more to us again. Let's, let's get more close to the Lord. Let's get to know him better. Let's seek his face, y'all. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally to do in our, in our personal lives, according to our purpose, our gifts, our futures, our situations, our talents, our assignment. Handle that, people. Honor that. Do your part, man. And uh, you already know the Heavenly Father going to do his part always. So make sure we do our part on our end. Okay, let's stay obedient and fervent with this. All right. Most definitely, people. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Brand new year. First new message of the year, y'all. So very pre- I appreciate all of you for the support and listening, man. Been podcasting for a few years, so it just feels good to actually have some people liking or commenting or subscribing or anything like that. It really means a lot, man. And it's going to keep the word flowing, amen. We got to keep this going, all right? So God bless all of you supporters and listeners out there, all right? Now, today's message, what we are going to do is we're going to go through this commentary 
in the book of first Kings chapter 18. All right. We're going to go through this regarding Elijah and Obadiah. All right. So we'll, we'll read through this commentary, read today's Bible reading, read recommended scripture reading as well, the whole entire commentary. And then we will close out with a prayer, close out with a priestly blessing and close out giving all the praise, honor and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. y'all. So here we go. Today's Bible reading, the book of 1 Kings, chapter 18, verses 16 through 39. Elijah on Mount Carmel. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. When he saw Elijah, he said to him, is that you, you, trouble of, you troubler of Israel? I have not made trouble for Israel, Elijah replied, but you and your father's family have. You have abandoned the Lord's commandments and have followed the Baals. Now summon the people from all over Israel to meet me on Mount Carmel and bring the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Asherah who eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent word throughout all Israel and assembled the prophets on Mount Carmel. Elijah went before the people and said, how long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. But the people said nothing. Then Elijah said to them, I am the only one of the Lord's prophets left, but Baal has 450 prophets. Get two, Baal, get two bulls for us. Let them choose one for themselves and let them cut it into pieces and put it on the wood, but not set fire to it. I will prepare the other bull and put it on the wood, but not set fire to it. Then you call on the name of your God and I will call on the name of the Lord, the God who answers by fire. He is God. Then all the people said, what you say is good. Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Baal, choose one of the bulls and prepare it first. Since there are so many of you, call on the name of your God, but do not light the fire. So they took the bull given them and prepared it. Then they called on the name of Baal from morning till noon. O Baal answered, they shouted, but there was no response. No one answered, and they danced around the altar they had made. At noon, Elijah began to taunt them. Shout louder, he said. Surely he is a god. Perhaps he is deep in thought, sleeping, or busy, or traveling. Maybe he is sleeping and must be awakened. <laughs> so they shouted louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears as with their customs, as was their custom until their blood flowed. Midday passed, and they continued their frantic prophesying until the time for the evening sacrifice. But there was no response. No one answered. No one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, come here to me. They came to him and he repaired the altar of the Lord, which was in ruins. Elijah took 12 stones, one for each of the, tri the tribes descended from Jacob, to whom the, wor the word of the Lord had come saying, your name shall be Israel. With the stones, he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he dug a trench around it large enough to hold two sahas of seed. He arranged the wood, cut the bull into pieces, and laid it on the wood. Then he said to them, fill four large jars with water and pour it on the offering and on the wood. Do it again, he said, and they did it again. Do it a third time, he ordered, and they did it the third time. The water ran down around the altar and even filled the trench. At the time of sacrifice, the prophet Elijah stepped forward and prayed, O Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things at your command. Answer me, O Lord, answer me. So these people will know that you are, you, O Lord, are God and that you are turning their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the soil, and also licked up the water in the trench. When all the people saw this, they fell prostrate and cried, the Lord he is God. The Lord, he is God. All right. I want to read the rest of it. Then Elijah commanded him, seize the prophets of Baal. Don't let anyone get away. They seized them and Elijah had, brought, had them brought down to the Kishon Valley and slaughtered there. And Elijah said to Ahab, go eat and drink for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went off to eat and drink, but Elijah climbed to the top of Carmel, bent down to the ground and put his face between the keys, between his knees. Go and look toward the sea, he told his servant, and he went up and looked. There is nothing there, he said. Seven times Elijah said, go back. The seventh time the servant reported, a cloud as small as, a small, as, as small as a man's hand is rising from the sea. 
So Elijah said, go and tell Ahab, hitch up your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. Meanwhile, the sky grew black with clouds. The wind rose, a heavy rain came on, and Ahab rode off to Jezreel. The power of the Lord came upon Elijah, and tucking his cloak into his belt, he ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Jezreel. All right, so that's today's Bible reading. Love reading about Elijah, you know, very powerful prophet of God. Um, holds a lot of weight within the scripture and prophecy and everything. And um, even the disciples and the Messiah brought him up. Um, you know, the disciples said that does not Elijah restore all things. And the Messiah said, yes, he does. But what you already did to Elijah, you already done to him. He was referring to John the Baptist in that aspect as well. So what Elijah did, a double portion of what Elijah did, got passed down to Elisha, Elisha, and it all got passed down through all the prophets, so all the prophets' ministries you see throughout the Old Testament was all Elijah's doing and restoration of everything that led up to John the Baptist being a forerunner for the Messiah. So prophecy is like a chain of events, you know, that goes through ages. And that just shows you how powerful God's word and his power keeps going past on generation after generation. So God's word never stops. God's power never stops. Amen. So um, we're in a very powerful time of prophecy at this moment, you know. And when you look at what Elijah did and how he lived his life, I mean, he did all the commandments, basically. I mean, he was walking in the power of God, walking the law, such commandments, um, killed off the wicked, helped out widows, helped out um, children, did miracles. I mean, Elijah was all of that. So basically, Elijah was a clear example of an individual, how to walk God's supposed to look, the power of God, the word of God, the prophetic, all that in one. OK, so it's very awesome how you see Israelites with certain powers and gifts and how they're able to glorify God with it. So. I just love reading that part, you know, how Elijah was able to call fire on the on the altar and everything, you know, and you see the, the fire of God. We always got to remember that the most high is a consuming fire, amen? So it's always important to have a clean temple, um, fasting and praying, being in obedience, really walking in it, being firm in, in the word, man, and let the Lord use you in miraculous ways, amen? In these last days that we're in, we're all going to be getting closer, close to the most high. We're going to be um, part of fulfilling prophecy, and we're all going to be walking around in our powers, our gifts, all those things are going to be activated. You know what I mean? We're all just going through a time period of um, being set apart from this world, from this Babylonian system and um, cutting off loose loose ends and all that. That's the process we're all going through right now. We're being refined and purified, but as time goes on more and more, we're going to be more stronger for the Lord. We're going to be more gifted, more activated, and it's going to be very beautiful. You're going to see all four corners of the earth doing that. You're going to see Israelites walking in the most highest power and they light and everything. You're going to see more um, of the church and, and graft the Gentiles, everybody all over the world just really walking in it. So we're in a very exciting time of prophecy, you know. So the same way uh, Moses, Joshua, Elijah, um, Eli Elisha, Elisha, the Messiah disciples, always walking our power and the light and everything, we're going to be doing that as well in these last days. Amen. So let's be on point in these days. All right. So that's today's Bible reading. Now, all I'd love to do is read the related reading, recommend scriptures attached to it. Okay. So let us go to the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verses 3 through 4. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the fathers to the third or fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Amen. Most definitely. And you see how Elijah was contending in heaven, um, his war against those who worship Baal. You know what I mean? So... Um, you see throughout the history how many nations were worshiping all types of different gods, and that's why all the conflicts and beefs were always there. So things like that was a clear example why Israel was always at war. Uh, we serve the true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and we really walk in his power and his word. The other nations, they do other weird rituals and stupid, foolish things to worship their God, and that's why there's always conflict, and we have to keep on that armor of God and always be firm in our faith, all right? Do not... Uh, let nobody take your crown. Do not renounce your faith. Do not give in to idol worship, man. You know, we were the true God we serve, man, is an excellent one. You should not you should not trade that belief for anything, anybody, okay? So let us be firm on this narrow path forevermore, amen. That was the first related reading. Now let us go to the second related reading, the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Amen, people. Praise the Lord. Love that scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. 
most definitely all right so the next and last related reading scripture we're going to go through is the book of deuteronomy chapter 5 verses 7 through 8 you shall have no other gods before me you shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or on the waters below you shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Amen, people. Praise the Most High forever. Okay, so those are the related reading scriptures. Now we will get to the actual commentary itself. The title of this commentary is Team. All right, Team! Exclamation mark. So here we go. No matter how you would have looked at the odds, they didn't stack up in Elijah's favor. Elijah was just one person standing up for God against not only the 450 prophets of Baal, but also a teeming mass of godlessness consuming his own people, the chosen children of Israel. The people seduced by the idolatry of the culture around them knew better. Yet, even when Elijah confronted them about their disobedience, they remained silent. How could this have happened? The same way it happens to us, whether we call it groupthink, conformity, peer pressure, compliance, inclusiveness, tolerance, mob mentality, or whatever. If a group doesn't temper its course with godly wisdom, the results can be dangerous. An issue can become culturally mainstream, but that doesn't necessarily make it good or right. It's just common, prevalent. Yet for many people, when an issue becomes common, it becomes normal and acceptable. This occurs not only in the greater culture, but also in businesses, churches, organizations, government, and almost every other area of life. Managers overuse the perennially popular buzzword teamwork. And don't forget, there is no I in team. Individual voices melt into the tolerant, inclusive group. This thinking stands as a cultural virtue, practically a mandate. To the people around him, Elijah's beliefs and actions seemed culturally out of step and devoid of common sense. Like an Old Testament John Wayne, he took a stand as an individual representing God instead of giving in to the team or the culture. Throughout scripture, the strength and value of well-tempered individuals shine through. Instead of seeking serenity, maybe our prayer should be, God, grant me the determination to know your word, the courage to confront those who distort it, who distort it and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Who do you know that consistently stands for God and against the tide of culture? What opportunities do you have to take a public stand for God? What made Elijah confident that he would succeed? How can you experience that kind of confidence? Quote, unquote, in other words, individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Quote, Vince Lombardi. All right. So that was the commentary right there. Something to really re reflect on, you know, in these last days. We are going to be very, very set apart, people, <laughs> Very for more, ways, for more reasons than one. Um, just our faith alone is going to set us apart. You know, the Messiah even said in the Gospels that I came not to bring peace, but to bring a sword. And then he, regarded, he was saying that regarding the family household. He was saying, how am I going to put mother against daughter and father against son and mother-in-law against daughter-in-law and father-in-law against son-in-law. So... The Messiah is basically saying the word of God alone and you know, that double-edged sword, that sword, that sword alone, the word, the gospel, the true faith will, the set apart, uh, the set apart process will start right in the home. It'll start right with your familiar friends or uh, people you, you knew or grew up around. And furthermore, when you get more set apart and close to the Lord in your narrow path, any environment you in, you just probably the only believer in there. You're the only one of faith in there, you know, when you, when you, whether you're in your workplace or um, a public environment or school or whatever, you're going to be the only person probably in your whole city or area that worship the true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I already know for sure I'm going to be going through it on my journey. I know all of us are as well, basically, before the Messiah returns. So we're basically going to be really individualized and uh, sticked out, isolated in these days that we're in, you know, in these last days that we're in. But we know our brothers and sisters of faith that we are all together as one, you know, but we know just geography wise, environmental wise, we're going to be really uh, isolated. You know, Elijah was the only man um, standing up for the most high in that time period, really walking in that power, walking in that obedience. Everybody else just conformed and went to idolatry. So we got to make sure we don't follow no pop culture trends. We don't follow no antichrist. We don't follow no image of the beast, um, worship the image of the beast, you know, market of the beast, all that stuff. And as more end times come around, y'all going to see it. You know, it's the reason why the book Revelation brings that up. Of course, obviously, because God was showing John all these things. But really, um, 
a lot of people are going to take that mark of the beast. A lot of people are going to take it, man. Like a lot of people are going to denounce their faith and stray away from the faith. Paul already said that to the letters in the churches as well. So we know the most high for sure. And we know we're going to stay faithful to him forevermore. Amen. And ain't no doubt in that. The, no, the, more, the most high is too real to even doubt him or question him. Hallelujah. So we are firm. We are not lukewarm. We is not going to conform. We is not going to follow no other God. Uh -uh. We, we going to stay to the true one. Hallelujah. We're going to stay on this narrow path forevermore. So y'all always stay strong and bold the same way Elijah did, Daniel did. You know, countless of examples of those who stay true to the faith. Y'all, Stephen, John the Baptist, man, come on, y'all, the Messiah. You already right, know, man. So let us follow those examples. Hallelujah. So there you have it. All right. That is the commentary. That's the word for today. Now, what I would love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord of hosts, y'all. The true creator, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, the God of Shem. Hallelujah. The God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the most high, y'all. His son died for our sins. His blood did clean up our mess. Yes, his son is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, y'all. The advocate. The almighty, true, living God, the Alpha and Omega, amen, the apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring. The deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise, king of the saints, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb, without, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness. The Lord, our God is one of some other like him. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my redeemer. The Lord is my healer, my forgiver, my redeemer, my branch, my provider. Most definitely, man. He's all that in one. He's so amazing. He's the name above all names. Praise the most high. My high tower, my rock, my fortress, my good refuge, my good fortress. My refuge, praise the most high, y'all. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yahai, Yahshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Elohim. Praise him. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things. He's the carpenter, can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and show you great mighty things, y'all. Call on him. Search him and seek him with all of your heart. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. You got to have faith. It is impossible to please him without faith. Faith is what pleases the Father, y'all. Faith, obedience, works, righteousness. Holiness, y'all. Praise the most high, man. Y'all need to get y'all miracles, y'all signs, y'all wonders, y'all healing, y'all restoration, y'all deliverance. Get what you need. Get what you need. Cry out to him. Praise the most high, y'all. The most high will do it. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The finger of God will do it in your life forevermore. The outstretched arm of God will be on your life forevermore. The mighty hand of God will be on your life forevermore. Hallelujah. Most definitely. He's looking out for all four corners. He's looking out for the 12 tribes. He's looking out for the church. He's looking out for the converts. He's looking out for the graft and graft the Gentiles. He's looking out for all four corners, y'all. Praise him, y'all. He got us, y'all. He got y'all. Praise him, praise him, praise him. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David. 
the only begotten Son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator. The stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, most definitely. His word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in Psalms. Every word of God is pure, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double edged sword, as the book of Hebrew says. Amen. Hallelujah. So praise the most high, y'all. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Yes, yes, y'all. Let's be better in all the areas of our lives. Let's examine ourselves. Let's 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 not be hypocrites. Let's not let's always pray without ceasing, okay? Let's handle what the Father gave us and help others as well. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, y'all. Every day you gotta remind yourself how amazing the Messiah is, y'all. He is the Lord Jesus Christ, He is the Lord of all, the abiding Son, the abolish of the enemy. Abundant grace, abundant life, ancient of days, Adonai, advocate, Aleph and Ta'u, Alpha and Omega, altogether lovely, amen? Anchor of souls, angel of God, angel of his presence, angel of Jacob, angel of the Lord, anointed king, anointed one, anointed of the Holy Spirit, anointed preacher, anointed witness, anointed of my father, another king, another priest, anthem of a new song, apple tree, appointed heir, appointed judge, appointed God, appointed of God. Appointed sacrifice, appointer of seasons, approved of God, ark of strength, arm of his strength, arm of redemption, arm of the Lord, armor of God, assurance of our hearts, a stonied one, author and finisher of our faith, author of eternal salvation, arrow of conviction, author of peace with God, author of the book of life, availing shield and buckler, baby of Bethlehem, baby and child of promise, balm of Galid, banner of Israel, banner of love, baptizer, bearer of the seven stars, beautiful and glorious branch, beauty of holiness, beauty of the Lord, beginning and ending, beginning of wisdom, beloved white and ruddy one, beloved of the father, beloved son, better than angels, blessed and glorious lamb, blessed and only potent, blessed and glorious name, blessed lamb of glory, blessed one, blessed rock, blessed of the children, branch, branch of righteousness, bread, bread of heaven, bread of God, bread of life, breastplate of our righteousness. Bridegroom, bridegroom lamb, bright light of glory, brightness of his glory, brightness of the Lord, brightness of thy rising, bringer of good things, brother of James, buckler to the upright, buckler to all, builder and maker, builder of the church, bruised and afflicted of God, bruiser of Satan, captain of salvation, captain of the Lord's host, carpenter, carpenter Jesus, carpenter's son, chief cornerstone, chief shepherd, chiefest among 10,000, child Jesus, child of the Holy Spirit, chosen of God, chosen stone of God, Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus the Lord, Christ of God, Christ our life, Christ our peace, Christ the crucified, Christ the king of Israel, Christ the Lord, Christ the rock, Christ the son of David, Christ the son of God, Christ the son of the blessed, Christ the first fruits, cloud of the Lord, cluster of the campfire, comfort of the mourners, comforter of Zion, compassionate shepherd, consuming fire, confidence, conquering lamb, consecrated son, constellation of Israel, Constellation of Israel, complete control of all, completer of the saints, contradiction of sinners, counsel of the most high, covenant of the people, covenant of promise, convert from the storm, creator of Israel, creator of the new heavens and earth, creator of principalities and powers, creator of the earth, creator of the heavens, creator of visible and invisible things, creator of the winds, crown of glory, crown of pure gold, darling, days man, day spring from on high, day star, defense, deliverer, deliverer to Zion, deliverer of my soul, Designer of the universe, desire of all nations, desire of our soul, desire of the bride, desire of the prophets and kings, desire of the righteous, desire of women, despised and rejected one, despised of the people, do of youth, do unto Israel, diadem of beauty, disallowed stone, door of faith, door of the sheep, dweller of the heavenlies, El Shaddai, enlarge of God, elect of the Lord, Elohim, enlarge of my heart, enlightener of my darkness, ensign, ensign for the nations, ensign of the people, enthroned priest, equal of God, establisher of the ends of the earth, eternal Christ, eternal life, eternal word, Eucharist of our faith, 
Everlasting God, everlasting King, everlasting name, everlasting priest, ever living intercessor, ever living one, ever merciful one, exalted and extolled servant, exalted God of salvation, exalted Lamb, exalted name, exceeding joy, our God, excellency of God, excellent, excellent and comely one, executor of judgment, executor of righteousness, expectation of David, express image, eye of the Lord, face of God, face of the Lord, fairer than children of man, faithful, faithful ambassador, faithful creator, faithful Lord, faithful and just forgiver, faithful witness, faithfulness, father of the fatherless, fellow, first and last, first begotten, first begotten from the dead, fire of Zion, firstborn, firstborn among many brethren, firstborn from the dead, firstborn of every creature, firstborn son, first fruits of them that slept, first love, excellence of God, foreordained eternally, forerunner, former of all things, former of Jacob and Israel, former of the light, fountain of Jacob, fountain of the house of David, framer of the worlds, free gift, friend, friend forever, friend of Abraham, friend of publican and sinners, fruit of the earth, fruit of the womb, fullness of the father, fullness of the Godhead, garden of earth, gather of the winds, Gentiles trust, gift of God, giver of secrets and treasures of earth, giver of the good spirit, giver of the Holy Spirit, gladness of the nations, glorious arm, glorious honor of thy majesty, glorious Lord, glorious voice with us, glory of God's majesty, glory of Israel, glory of the Gentiles, God blessed forever, God manifest in flesh, God of David, God of great kindness, God of pardon and new life, God of righteousness and wrath, God of just run, God of our, God our Savior, God is with us, God with us, good and upright, good Lord. Lord, good shepherd, good teacher, good man of the house, governor, governor of many nations, gracious God, gracious Lord, gracious and full of compassion, great counselor, great door, great God, great high priest, great king, great Lord, great one, great peace, great prophet, great savior, great shepherd, great and excellent, wonderful, amazing, awesome God, greater than Abraham, greater than Isaac, greater than Jacob, greater than Jonah, greater than David, greater than Noah, greater than Solomon, greater than our hearts. Greater and more perfect tabernacle, greatness of excellency, greatness of might, greatness of strength, greatness of thy power, greatness of Zion, green tree, guarantor of our security, guarantor of the new covenant, guarantor of the tree of life, guide for us, hand of the Lord, hanged redeemer, harmless, hated one, hater of iniquity, head above all, head of all principality and powers, head of every man, head of the body, head of the corner, head of the church. Head over all, head over things, healer, healer of broken hearts, healer of souls, healer of wounds, health of my countenance, hearer of prayer, help of his countenance, helper of the helpless, heir of all things, hidden God, hidden manna, high above all, high and lofty one, high God, high Lord, high priest of good things, high priest of our profession, high priest over house of God, high right hand, high tower of mine, higher than heavens, higher than kings, highest one, his brightness, his dear son, his excellent greatness, his holiness, his holy arm, his loving kindness, his mighty hand, his right hand, his son. Jesus Christ, his son, our Lord, holier than thou, holy and true, holy child Jesus, holy Lord God, holy name, holy one, holy one and just, holy one of God, holy one of Israel, holy one of Jacob, holy one of Mount Paran, holy thing, honorable lamb of glory, honored son, hope in a day of evil, hope of David, hope of eternal life, hope of glory, hope of his people Israel, hope of Israel, hope of righteousness, hope of the promise, hope and joy of Abraham, great and sure, exceeding reward, hope and joy of Simeon, horn of David, horn of salvation, horn of the house of, horn of the house of David, horn of the house of Israel, horn of my salvation, Hosanna of the highest praise, house of defense, humbler of the high-minded, husband of Israel, husband of the bride, I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, image of God, image of the believers, image of the Father, image of the invisible God, Emmanuel, God is with us, immortal, incarnate God, infinite one, inheritor of all nations, inheritor of my mountains, intercessor of sinners, Jasper and Sardin stone, jealous God, Jesus, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Jesus Christ, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the righteous, Jesus of Galilee. Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus the crucified, Jesus the grace and truth, Jesus the kings of the Jews, Jew, judge, judge among nations, judge of all the earth, judge of Israel, judge of quick and dead, judge of the fatherless, judge of widows, justified of the spirit, justifier of the circumcision, justifier of the seed of Israel, just God, just Lord, just man, just one, just savior, keeper of Israel, keeper of the covenant and mercy, keeper of the keys of hell and death, kindler of Tophet, king beautiful, king eternal, king forever, king of all the earth, king of glory, king of heaven, king of Israel, king of Jacob, king of kings and lord of lords, king of nations, king of peace, king of righteousness, king of saints, king of the Jews, king of truth, king of Zion, kinsman nearer than I, kinsman redeemer, Kodashem, holy one, Korban, sacrifices, lamb, Lamb of God, Lamb of Mount Zion, 
Lamb of the 144,000 sealed Israelites of the 12 tribes of Israel. Lamb of salvation, lamb of the great multitude, lamb of the 12 apostles, lamb slain from the foundation, lamb to the slaughter, lamb without spot and blemish, lamp, lamp of the feet, last Adam, leader, commander, life, life of man, lifted and exalted son, lifted up suffering symbol, lifted up my head, light and truth, light everlasting, light in darkness, light of heaven, light of Israel, light of life, light of men, light of the city, light of the Gentiles, light of the glorious gospel, light of the glory of God, light of the path, Light of the world, light of thy countenance, lily among thorns, lily of the valley, lion of the tribe of Judah, lion of Zion, living bread, living redeemer, living savior, living stone, long suffering God, Lord and Christ, Lord and God, Lord and shepherd, Lord from heaven, Lord God of the holy prophets, Lord God of Mount Sinai. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of glory, Lord Messiah, Lord most high, Lord Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, everlasting strength. Lord of a new covenant, Lord of all, Lord of David, Lord of glory, Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of hosts, Lord of kings, Lord of lords, Lord of peace, Lord of heaven's riches, Lord of the harvest, Lord of the Sabbath, Lord of the scriptures, Lord of the second advent, Lord of the whole earth, Lord our hope, Lord our judge, Lord our king, Lord our Lord, Lord our maker, Lord our righteousness, Lord our shield, Lord over all, Lord the God of hosts, Lord the judge, Lord thy creator, Lord thy redeemer, Lord thy savior, love of righteousness, magnified Lord, magnified name, majesty, maker of all things maker of Israel, maker of morning darkness, maker of one new man, (laughs) maker of peace, maker of the one, maker of the new way, maker of the path and the sea, man of Christ Jesus, man of God, man of sorrows, man of thy right hand, man of war, man of from heaven, marred one, master in heaven, master of the house, master of the sea, mediator of a better covenant, mediator of the new covenant, mediator of the new testament, Mediator between God and man, meek and lowly Jesus, merciful and faithful high priest, merciful God, messenger of the covenant, Messiah, Messiah the prince, mightier than the mighty waves, mightier than the noise of any waters, mighty and strong one, mighty arm, mighty God, mighty hand of God, mighty man, mighty one of Israel, mighty one of Jacob, mighty power, mighty savior, mighty strength, mighty wisdom, mind of the Lord, mind anointed, mind elect, mind holy one, minister of the circumcision, minister of the sanctuary, minister of the true tabernacle, most holy, most most mighty, most upright, mystery of godliness, narrow gate, Nazarene, near Lord, obedient son, offspring of David, ointment poured, the only one, the one true one, the one, the, the God, the Lord is one, there's no other like him, the one, the one and only sacrifice, one Lord, one shepherd, only rock, ordained lamp of the anointed, ordained of the father, ordainer of the preachers, our king, our Lord, our Passover, our peace, our Sabbath, our sin offering, Overcomer Lamb, Overcomer of the Overcomers, Overcomer of the Principalities, Overcomer of the World, Overseer of the Congregation, Pattern of the Believers, Peacemaker, Perfect Peace, Physician, Great Physician, Excellent Physician, Wonderful Physician, Pierced Messiah, Pierced One, Pillar of Fire, Plant of Renown, Pleased of the Father, Polished Shaft, Portion of Jacob, Portion in the Land of Living, Portion of Mine Inheritance, Possessor of Heaven and Earth, Potent, Potter, Power of God, Powerful and Rich Lamb, Praise of the children, praise of the saints, preacher of good things, preacher of righteousness, precious lamb, precious Lord, precious stone, preeminent one, preparer of heavenly places, preserver of men, preserver of saints, preserver of the word, preserver of the faithful, preserver of his creation, priest, priest forever of Melchizedek, prince of life, prince of princes, prince of the kings of the earth, prophet of his brethren, prophet from Nazareth of Galilee, prophet mighty deed and truth, propitiation for sins, propitiation of our faith. Proverb to his people, pure one, quickening love, quickening spirit, quickening word, rabbi, rabbani, ransom for all, recompenser, reconciler of enemies, reconciler of things earthly and heavenly things, redeemer and forgiver, redeemer of Abraham, redeemer of Israel, redeemer of souls, redeemer of the first testament, redeemer of Zion, redeemer the holy one, redeemer the lamb, redeemer the Lord of hosts, redemption, refiner and purifier, refuge for the oppressed. Refuge for us, refuge from the storm, refuge in day of affliction, refuge in trouble, reigning lamb, reproach of men, rest for our souls, restore of Zion, reject the stone of builders, resurrection and judge, resurrection and the life, revealer of secrets, revealer of counsels of the heart, revealer of the hidden mystery, revealer of the hidden things, reverend, rewarder of servants and prophets, righteous, righteous and very faithful testimony, right hand of David, right hand of my righteousness, righteous branch, righteous God, righteous judge, righteous man, righteous one, righteous rock, righteous servant, risen light, risen Lord, river of waters, rock higher than I, rock of Israel, rock of my refuge, rock of my salvation, rock of offense, rock of the church, rock of the wilderness, 
Rock and fortress, rock our God, rock the Lord, rod and branch, rod of his mouth, rod of my anger, rod of my strength, rod of thine inheritance, root of David, rose of Sharon, rule of Israel, rule of the 24 elders, salvation of all nations, salvation of God, salvation of the daughters of Zion, a Samaritan, help the Samaritan woman, same Lord over all, same stone of prophecy, same yesterday, today, forever, same word of eternity, sanctified and sent one, saving health, saving strength of his anointed, Savior, Savior Jesus, Savior of all, Savior of the body, Savior of the lost, Savior of the world, separate out of Israel, scorned one, searcher of hearts, second man, secret of thy presence, seat of Abraham, promise, seat of Adam, humanity, seat of David, kingship, seat of God, deity, seat of Jacob, nationality, seat of Judah, tribe, seat of Shem, race, seat of one, prophecy. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. In the authority and power name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new dreams, new visions, new song to sing, new attitude, new outlook, new friends, new people to worship with, new scenery, new everything, new encounters, new signs, miracles, wonders, new results, new good news. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, y'all. New joy, renewed, renewed heart, renewed heart, stability, all of that, de deliverance, healing, re restoration, all those things I speak of your life forevermore. Just new path, new footsteps, new journey, new joy, just new everything in your life from now on. Become a new creature in Christ to be born again of spirit and water. Repent and get baptized, let your life over from the most high. Get on that narrow path and stay on that narrow path. Make sure you do the Great Commission. Make sure you make disciples of all nations. Make sure you spread that gospel. Make sure you're a doer of the word. Make sure you win as many souls as possible before the Messiah comes back. Get that work done for the most high, y'all. Praise the Lord forevermore. Store up your treasures in heaven, people. Prayers that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Prayers that your name is written and recorded in heaven. Prayers that you set the table, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Pray that you have eternal life in a hundredfold. Pray that you get everlasting joy. Pray that you get the crowns of heaven, the crown of rejoicing, the crown of life. Prayers that you have the tree of life forevermore. Prayers when it's all said and done that the Messiah tells you, well done, good and faithful servant. Prayers that the Messiah and the Father has many matches stored up for you. Hallelujah. Praise the most high, y'all. Make sure you store up your treasure in heaven, people. Always start your church in heaven, y'all. Most definitely have to get through everything as we're here in this earth right now. So there's a lot to go through prior to that. Amen. Praise the most high, y'all. Praise the Lord, y'all. Yes, much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. Much love to you all. Much love to the church. Much love to the Gentiles and grafted in. Much love to the great tribulation saints. Much love to the martyrs. Much love to the brave, courageous souls out there all over the earth, y'all. Praise the Lord forevermore, y'all. Love you, brothers and sisters. Let's keep, it, let's keep it rolling for the most high forevermore, y'all. Praise him. He is very excellent, y'all. He is the seeking shepherd, the self-existent one, separate from sinners, the servant, servant of rulers, servant of the Father, servant of the Lord. Shade upon thy right hand, shadow of a great rock, shadow of his hand, shadow of mine hand, shadow of the Almighty, shadow of thy wings. Shalom of God. Shekinah, glory, shelter, shelter of his flock, shepherd of Israel, shepherd of souls, shepherd of the flock, shepherd of the little flock. Shepherd of the other sheep, shepherd of the sheep, shepherd of tender compassion, shepherd lamb, shepherd of the valley, shield for me, shield of thy help, Shiloh, shorn lamb, sign spoken against, silent and meek lamb, sin bearer, sinless high priest, sinless one, sir, slayer of the enemy, smitter of the nation, smitten judge of Israel, smitten rock of Horeb, smitten shepherd, smitten of God, son of man, sower of the word of God, spirit of Christ, song of drunkards, son from heaven, son of David, son of freedom, son of God, Son of Joseph, son of man in heaven, son of the son of man, the savior, son of Mary, son of peace, son of the father, son of the free woman, son of the highest, son of the living God, son of truth, son over his house, spiritual drink, spiritual meat, spiritual rock, spoiler of the principality, spokesman of the father, sprinkler of nations and kings, star out of Jacob, stay, stiller of the raging sea, stone cut without hands, <whistles> stone of Israel, stone of stumbling, stone, of, stone, stone the builders rejected. Stranger and alien, strength and song, strength in time of trouble, strength of Israel, strength of my heart, strength of my life, strength of the children, strength of the Lord, strength to the needy, strength to the poor. Stretched out arm, outstretched arm, strong arm, strong habitation, strong hand, strong Lord, strong redeemer, strong power, strong rock, strong hold, strong tower, stumbling stone, son of righteousness, sure foundation, sure mercies of David, sure steadfast anchor, surety of a better testament, surety of David, sustainer, sufficient one, sword of thy excellency. Tabernacle, tabernacle of God, teacher from God, teacher of David, teacher of my path, tempest of hail and destroying storm, temple, temple of the city, tender plant, excellent, amazing, wonderful, awesome God, excellence of the kings, testament of prophecy, testator, testator, testimony of the scriptures, that bread, that eternal life, that one from the beginning, that prophet, that rock, the creator, the everlasting arm, the excellent delight, the glorious honor of thy majesty, the glory of their strength, the grace of God, the highest, the just, the justification of life. 
the justification of many, the King, the Lord, my hiding place, the Lord, my helper and deliverer, the love of God, the man, the manifest life, the mercy of the most high, the mighty of Jacob, the rock of our salvation, the savior, the victory, the savior of upright hearts, the secret of the Lord, the son of the Lord God, the song of Moses, the sower, the straight gate, thine holy one, thresher of wheat and chaff, throne of God's holiness, thou Christ, tower of David, tower and fortress, tower of salvation, trampler of the young lion and dragon, treader of the angry waves, treader of the high places, treader of the lion and adder, treader of the winepress, thy glorious name, thy kindness and marvelous comfort, thy staff and comfort, thy praise, treasure of wisdom, tried stone, triumph Christ, triumph overcomer, triumph lamb, true and faithful witness, true and righteous judge, true bread from heaven, true God and eternal life, true light, true vine, truth, uncorrupted and glorified one, uncomprehendable light, undefiled, unknown God. God works in mysterious ways, unspeakable gift, upholder of all things, upholding right hand, valiant right hand, veiled to the new and living way, very beautiful king, very Christ, very foundation of the church, very God of peace, very great, very high, very high priest, very high servant, very lovely song, very present help, very pure word, victorious king and Lord, Victorious Lord Jesus, victorious one, victory, vine, voice of great thunder, voice of many waters, voice of the almighty, voice of the Lord God, wall of fire, water of life, way, way everlasting, way of salvation, way of the just, way of the Lord, way to the holiest weakness of God, well-beloved of God, well-beloved son, white linen of the saints, white stone, wisdom, wisdom and knowledge, wisdom of the just, wise and strong lamb, witness, witness of the father, witness of truth, witness to the people, wonderful counselor, word, word made flesh, word of God, word of his power, word of life, word of righteousness, word of the Lord, worshipful Lord, worthy lamb of heaven, worthy Lord Jesus, worthy redeemer, worthy servant. Wounded one in the house of friends, wounded one for transgressors, yoke of peace and rest, young child, zeal the Lord of hosts, zealous one, hallelujah, praise the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, most definitely, his only begotten son died for our sins, praise the Messiah, y'all, most definitely, praise him, praise him, praise him, y'all, hallelujah, so there you have it, all right, that's the word for today, all right, just a commentary regarding Elijah and Obadiah, okay, so... Let us walk in the power of God. Let us walk in that fire of God. We serve the consuming fire, so we got fire sharp in our bones. Amen. Praise the Lord, y'all, most definitely. Okay, so we're going to start off this year on point, walking in obedience for the Lord forevermore. And we're just getting closer and closer as more prophecy fulfills. Okay, so let's be in alignment and agreement a long time. All right. There you have it. What I'd love to do as I close out is give you all the priestly blessing on the way out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And I shall put my name on the children of Israel, on the Israelites. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.